Hey, hey, uh, hi, I am Igor Glass, and today I'll tell you how to play Civilization, first Civilization, which uh, was developed in was developed in 1991. So let's go customized world. Customized world, it's uh, most fun to play this type of the game. I'll tell everything about this game, how to play it, about interface and some tricks and secrets. So let's choose small land mass, uh, warm climate, um, temperature, warm temperature, I read climate, so it will be more fun, more interesting, more hard to play. If you are a new player, it's alright to play at Chieftain, but actually it's fun to play at Prince, because after you will watch this video, Warlord will be too easy for you. So let's go play. I like to play with seven civilizations, so at small place and uh, a lot of civilizations, so it will be more harder. Which race to take? It depends. Every has some uh, good things. Yeah, but I, I like to play Russians because I'm Russian and uh, they have two settlers, by the way, which is very fun. So, uh, you start the game. It's how it looks like and uh, what we have here. It's kind of main screen. And this is our unit, which blink right now and it's active. We could move arrows uh, like this. You could move arrows. Uh, from moving them around. Then we have some uh, menus on the top. First is game. Here you could change tax rate. For example, how, so how much you spend on the science. So you have some gold. I do not have any right now. You see this, this number, it's a gold. And you could choose how much uh, you want to spend on the science. Then uh, luxury rate. You do not really need luxury. Then some options and you could uh, like remove some stuff like after save or maybe remove some palace uh, rem because it, you could accidentally click and end the turn. Uh, also maybe uh, like Zwillopedia text. Oh, but, but it's, it's actually fun. So yeah, instant advice. It's what you should remove instant advice because there is a bug which make game uh, stuck. So. Um, also, there is a button revolution. It, this way you will change like from despotism to monarchy or to democracy. Later on, for now, you do not need it. And every unit has its own command. So if you click at orders, you will see that this particular unit could do. So this is settlers. So they could build a city with a BK. This, uh, this game, you could use it. You could play it without mouse at all, just using your keyboard. So, but even if you play with the mouse, it's fun to learn some hot case. For example, build rod R, uh, build irrigation I, and so on. So you could uh, look at some advisors, but uh, they are not really uh, useful. Uh, check some statistics about the world, but now we do not know other um, other countries, so it wouldn't show much. And Civilopedia, so you could use, for example, to look. Uh, articles for each uh, science thing or for example to check um, article about buildings in the city so yeah it's quite useful what you should do at first you should build a city where to build the city if you would click uh, there's a mouse right click on the tile you will see will see what this place is so this for example planes and uh, it has some, in this particular uh, place there is a horses, which is very nice, um, which give us some more production and so basically you want to build, where you build city, it's define your success in the game. So when you build the city, this tile automatically become irrigated and road build it here. So when I do something like this, we build the Moscow. Uh, this tile already become irrigated and uh, road build it here. But we have another settler, so what we should do with it, you could just... Um, let, let's uh, first of all, we want to be, build another settler, which is uh, important at the beginning. Another settler you could use just to, to scout around or to build roads which is and irrigate uh, stuff, which is very important. Irrigation, it's a core concept, so if you're staying 
without any sources of water, you just can't irrigate. So irrigation wouldn't work. If I press I here, you see it doesn't work. So, for example, here, if I'll try irrigate, it also doesn't work. But if we will try to irrigate um, nearby to the water, we could do it. And you press I and for some turns, you will uh, put here some water at the fields, which is very nice because uh, you could, uh, um, in your city, you could change where your citizens uh, will build, will uh, work at which tiles and you could have here more food. So here, let's talk about now city interface. So if you, if you will go to the city, like click into it, you see here uh, on the top, this is your units in the city, so it depends how much people lives here. Um, your city, it's, you see it has, let's move, let's move it a bit. So here we will build a road with R and here we will irrigate too. So your city, you see roads build it very fast. So let's, um, let's move and build another road. So your city, we see this number one. What does it mean? It means that the city has only one worker, like uh, one guy who we could send for, for working. Uh, so if we wouldn't send him, he will be quite happy. You see, he is like Elvis and uh, it's happy citizen. When you just start to play, you do not need really happy, worry about happy citizens because you have despotism and uh, you just you just want to put all your guys to the work then you have city resources it's basically when you do not have any fun in the field your city by itself produce produce some stuff so you see it's producing some food this uh, things it's a food like wheat then uh, it's produce some resources this um, gray shields these resources they used for building so you could build uh, for example some like barracks to be to to um, to be able to build um, to burn veterans so when you will um, do something build a unit like a chariot or militia if they will become veterans they will have more stats so different building give, give you different stuff so these resources they kind of define how how uh, fast you build stuff then this is trade each row each um, tile has its own characteristics for example if you have a road somewhere it will give you additional trade you see and also uh, it give you additional bulb which is important bulb this blue thing it's your science so if you do not have any, for example, if we go like this with our city, uh, our nation do not make any scientific progress. So you see, I spent se several turns already, but we didn't put anything to, in, to research. So if we will change, put our worker to, this, uh, to the road square with irrigation, we, ha we will have a lot of food. Uh, and we will have trade, additional trade, so additional income. And we will have, which, which is more important, uh, most important, bulb. So it's, it will give us science, possibility to go through science. Uh, so these things, it's happiness and um, this is uh, gold. So you see, uh, any these spots, they do not give you additional gold. Gold, we have it just from uh, the our uh, our city so this is food storage when it will be full uh, see um, people in our city will grow so we will have not the one uh, human here not not the one uh, group of citizens but two three and so on then we have like some information about city who when if we will have here some units for example battle units they will be here happiness uh, took a look at the map and the view view is just uh, decorative stuff when you build something you will see changes here and palace palace so you could have only one palace so if you will have more cities let's build some more cities 
So let, let's, um, yeah, you see now after I moved my unit to the road, to work at the road, we have some science progress and now we could uh, make a discovery. So we could choose what to, where, where to go. So bronze working, it's very nice choice because there when we have phalanx, very uh, good armored units. Um, so let's just move around a bit. Uh, this is quite quite good spot for a new city, so let's build it. Let's build this city. And cities, they could trade between each other. You could send caravans and uh, different cities has different resources. This, um, there is a diff interesting thing. You see this small, uh, like, um, thing, this circle. If we see, you see this circle, it means that this place has resource. So it's very nice to build your city at um, at this spot. Uh, so if, if it has, it's a, it is gra grassland, but with this thing, it means that it has some resource. Uh, so uh, let's talk about units. Let's talk about units. Let's make, um, yeah, by the way, every in any moment you could change your uh, units a build, uh, building so w when you build certain unit you could change it to another one but for example if i'll change to militia right now it will be bad because i lo i will lose some resources it's better to stay like this so let's uh, just play a bit you see irrigation of the hills it's very long process it's it, it took very long time and we have right now two uh two of the citizens here and we could now we could do something like this by the way you see that uh for example we if you will put your citizen to to the sea it will give you very nice trade so you will have more more trade and it give you additional gold so if you need gold you could do it and also it give you science so putting that's a nice thing but i want more uh, production right now so I'll go like this and let's build a road in the hills. It will be also quite a long process. To move around the map, you could just click with the left uh, mouse around like this or use the map if you have a lot of stuff. Actually, uh, for us, it's quite a good thing uh, to build something to defend our cities. But militia, it's uh, not really good unit, so it's better... For now, we will focus at. Um, we will risk it. We will make settlers. When you just start to play, it's very nice to have more settlers. And if 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 somebody will attack you and destroy, it, it's not a big deal to start a new game. So but yeah, but some people they start from the scratch. They they start with um, um, going a uh, battling. But the interesting thing that you see. I build right now. I just build um, settlers, and what's ho what's going on when you build a settler in the town? It's uh, kind of remove a citizen from it. Yeah, so you need uh, to remember about this stuff. Why we need roads? Because you see, you could move very far with the roads. So now I want to to build some roads here like this so to connect my cities and now I want to to irrigate this place yeah and now I want to yeah we found a village and uh, finding a village it's a nice thing because it could give you some random bonus for example, here we found uh, alphabet, knowledge about alphabet, which is really cool thing to find like this, like fr free investigation. And actually, yeah, yeah we want to invest investigate stuff around and uh, maybe, okay, we build it enough settlers. I think so soon we will uh, go for, ah, it's a bar. Okay, let's, let's make another one. Soon we will start uh, producing battle units. So this, for example, this uh, this is a swamp. So you could change landscape in this game. You could, for example, uh, to remove forest or 
make grassland as a forest so you could make different stuff but for now i want to build another city here and i want to to continue our investigation so here we, we build the city kiev this is game from 1991 so that's time kiev was a part of russia as a uh, minsk for example so next city which we will build it will be minsk which is quite funny so uh, we do not need really uh, irrigate watery tiles as far as i remember so but we want to build roads always okay le let's make a road better not to build road like in swamps or in the forest because it will take lots so it's better you could connect uh, with the roads by diagonal which is nice okay we found some gold here let's build a road and this is very nice place uh, for city just a very nice one so i think we will do it oh, 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 oh i i made a mistake okay let's irrigate this place first and here we're moving and i have i have my first fighting units thing with fighting units uh it's actually better to build them when you already have barracks um soon we will have i think soon we will have uh, our um, bronze age and um, um, bronze science and then it will be easier to we will start building phalanges which is one of the best units so let, let's build barracks i think we have enough uh, settlers for now here but we will still need this militia will help us because we need some protection Okay, I build a road here, which is very nice. And now we will uh, make a, a city. So we have. Oops, I uh, made the mistake. I build a settler where I do not have enough. Um, and it was <laughs> a huge mistake, big blunder. When you do not have enough uh, people, so yeah, do not do it like 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 the, like I did here. Uh, important thing about units in this game it's quite uh, funny that even militia this first unit ever which you just built it could def def defeat tanks sometimes especially if it's settled in the hills so if you will put your unit to the hills uh, hills give you additional bonus plus 100 percent also you could build forts with your settlers or even if you sit in the city it's also a very nice thing especially if you have some uh, some if you build some stuff there so yeah let's irrigate and let's build again minsk yeah okay we we failed <laughs> with the moscow but we will have uh, minsk yeah, uh, actually it's all right. If you do not have nothing to build, you could build stuff. And if you do not need it, you could sell it to get money. So do not worry. You could just build stuff and sell it, get money, again build the same thing and so on. Interesting thing that uh, you see my settlers, they disappeared from here. I'm not really understand why, why it's they um, did it. Maybe they were destroyed by someone, but I didn't notice it. Anyway... So let's uh, play with uh, stuff which we have here. Um, let's build some roads, and let's move. Let let's move on. Um, okay, we have settlers. Yeah, let's start with uh, some barracks. I do, I think we do not have bulbs. You see, we do not have bulbs. That's why my. Um, everything stuck here so i do not have bulbs so i can't make uh, any investi any investigation tax let's take a look at tax rate um, let's make science or more more stuff to science you see, I have here one bulb, but it uh, takes very long time. So uh, our 
our militia, what we could do, it's a good thing to make a, a fortify. So if some enemies around and you are in the hills, you could fortify with FK and it will make your unit hard to kill, which is very nice. Okay, finally, we made bronze working. It was very long time to go through it. And with Brown Worker we have the best fighting unit for the start, it's a Phalanx unit, finally. And now we could go for some other stuff, for example Masonry or some... Almost everything is good when you just start, maybe some horse riding not really useful, Some, but uh, most of stuff it's uh, good to, to, to go. So, uh, I think it's enough for the start, uh, with this basic knowledge you will be able to to play successfully and um, what I could advise when you meet some other civilization trade technology with them um, build like five cities or seven when you just start it's, uh, more cities you build the better but uh, don't forget to look into people who live here and uh, if you do not have much people and you build caravans, it could be like <laughs> not the best choice. You see, I just dis disband my city by mistake with it. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video helped. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll make more videos about best games. Bye-bye.